hello guys welcome back so this is the first video of our this course and as you know guys we are going to develop a new brand application such as like uber karim and lyft and in this video we are going to set up our this project and we will create this project so now to create a project what we need to do first of all let's click on this new flutter project here click on it and this is our SDK part location so just simply click on next and here we have to give the project name so the project name will be because we are going to develop the driver apps first drivers app so let's give the name drivers underscore app make sure all English alphabeters are small and don't give any space and here description let's give any description this is drivers application and now here you can give your organization name if you have any organization your company like your domain name let's i am giving here seg system or you can leave empty if you don't have any domain don't worry guys so now click on finish and now it's creating the project for us we have to wait little little while and now as you can see the project has been created you will see this readme just simply close it and you will see this folder here this drivers app so expand it click on it and you will see this lib and we have on we are on the main dot dot this is the our main dot dot this one so now what we need to do here we have to change something on this main screen just minimize like this so first of all let's remove all these comments so remove all these comments and remove all these comments from here and then simply minimize this minimize this and remove and now after this I just simply remove all this from the home and let's comment this home we will work on later on on this and here let's give the name of this title here let's say drivers application and now here you can see we have this main function our application run actually from this main function this is inbuilt function and flutter have the main function our whole app run from the this is our root of our project so our code will be exit from this main so here we have to change something so i mean we have to make it according to our needs here so let's make it async and after this here we have to write visits flutter binding dot ensure initialize this one make sure you add this visit here and here async and now here remove this comment and here inside this home we will give a scaffold and inside this scaffold we will give app bar app bar and the title will be text and you can say here welcome to welcome to drivers app add a const modifier here like this so now what we need to do come here you will see this material lab so minimize it and just select this material lab from here and cut it cut and now come here 
remove this const my app and come here and right here run my app and here simply we have to child child and paste our material app here and now expand it and you will see now in our main function we have run app our run app is this one and here come here just minimize this class and remove it and right here is stateful widget stful and you can say here my app now here let's remove this const line all this and here let's say here final visits child and create a constructor for it and let's say my app this dot child and add a null check here or say require this like this now after this we have to create one function for restart the application whenever we need to start our application we will call this function so here let's say static void and this is the function name restart app and inside this we have to say build build context context make this capital build like this build context context and inside this function right here context dot find at sense state of type this one find as sense ancestors states of type and this one and before here like to break it and we have to pass my state app this one copy this one and just simply paste it here put semicolon at the end and then after this here dot restart restart dot restart app and here after this before this override let's say keep key will be key and it will soon unique unique key and then after this void restart app open to curly brackets and here set state and here we will assign this key equals to unique key and then after this in instead of this container we can say return key subtree key subtree child will be unique key so we just visit child will be visit 
डॉट चाइल्ड एंड की विल बी की एंड नाउ एज यू नो गाइज वी आर यूजिंग लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ लेटर विद नल सेफ्टी सो कम अबो हेयर एंड वी हैव टू एड हेयर नल सेफ्टी लाइक दिस एंड हेयर ऑल्सो बी फॉर दिस नल लाइक दिस सो या एंड हेयर ऑल्सो here also this so yeah we have completed we have here remove the put same uh, comma here so yeah we have come here and why we change this on our main because this will be to fetch the location of current location of the drivers so and we have to update our application again and again when the users i mean the driver will complete the trips so we need to restart our application again so that's why we change all these things here and this function we need uh, in our appli applications so that we can restart our application this one that's why we change all these things in this main so let's test the application it's working or not so click on this run button first of all let's open this emulator or you can connect your own phone so our emulator is working now just wait it will open in and as you can see our emulator has been open now click on this just wait a moment now this is our emulator detect here so click on this run button and we have to wait a while because it's the first time it will take little time so now it's building the apk for our this android emulator and in a few seconds you will see the application on this emulator and now it's installing and now as you can see we are on our main screen welcome to driver app and let's remove this debugging check mode this one so come here just minimize this and come here and inside this let's say inside this material app let's say debug show check mode banner false and hot or you can just cut from here and after this home here this is the home you can see false run our application again and see put some to comma here now run our application again and here just come to the first uh, in the test this is a test this is it open it and double click on it and you will see this is the const app so remove this const 
constant because our application will not be constant it will be only my app like this and here in the widget here just add this remove const and add this if you see error after removing after remove this const to modifier just simply click on it and add this child like this so yeah that's okay and just hot reload our application see and as you can see the debug segment also has gone so thank you guys for watching this video and we will see in the next video